Hey guys, it's me again. Oh, there are papers under my feet. Anyway, hi. I just decided to be bog again, just cause. With this wrist, it's easier for me to like talk things out instead of typing up a whole big entry, which I kind of want to do because this weekend was really fun. So, this is my equivalent of typing up a big long entry. Sorry, I didn't know where baby I was. Anyway, so, um, so this weekend was really fun. Um, there was like a half day at my school, so on Friday, me and my friends, some of us went to the mall, and it was kind of failure. Joey, well, has a what is that? I'm taking a video. Oh gosh. How long is it going for? Uh, almost two minutes. You should make it look like you're gonna pop the bubble. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it already popped. Um, the most interesting part was probably when my friend Joey choked on his gum and nearly died. <laughs> it's gone. Yay, there's something extra happened while I was filming. <laughs> Josh is done. I pretty much inhaled it. Um, and when we first got in there, like, we were eating lunch, and we were sitting at, like, the tables in the food court, and these Asian people walk in, and it's, like, these two really hot guys, and then this girl. And they're talking to each other in Korean, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And like my friend Scott goes, oh my goodness, Hannah, look. And I turn around and I see them, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And I like lock eyes with one of the hot guys right as I'm going, oh my goodness. And I'm like staring right at him. And then I look away, and then I look back. And he's like talking to his friend, and they're both like staring at me. And he like kind of nods his head towards me. And they like keep talking, and then they walk away. And then I look at my friend Joey, and I'm like, oh my god, did you see that? And he's like, yeah, I totally did. And I'm like, oh my god. And then we kept running into them, and it was really awkward. I want to go home Look, too. These are the Asians. Let's go to Barnes and Noble and you can buy clothes. Hi, Josh. I'm filming you, not awkwardly. Probably. Not the Asians walking behind you. Nope, just you. Yeah. It was really awkward. Um. So yeah, and then like we all went home for like four hours, and then everybody came and like met up at my house, and then we went to this corn maze, which was like. I don't even know why it was so scary, but it was really scary, but like that was good because I wanted to be scary because I wanted to do something scary. So the corn maze was like perfect. It's just like this huge maze of corn and it's like 2.8 miles long and there aren't any lights. So you're just like going through corn and it feels like you're stuck in the movie Signs or something. It feels like you're never going to get out because it's just like corn and you just keep trying to turn and like they give you a map that's kind of pointless in a way because you don't really know where you are. You're just in a bunch of corn. And, like, my friends would, like, jump in the corn and then come out and scare me. My friend Josh scared the ever-living crap out of me because he decided to barrel towards us. And he was wearing black, so I didn't see him, and I just, like, freaked out. Um, we got lost, too, at one point. We all got separated, and then, like, my little group of people, we got lost. And Matt had his big evil runes, so we were consulting the big evil runes to tell us what was going to happen. <laughs> Wait, third time's a charm. That is true. Guys, I'm... Oh. Or should we do seven because that's like the most important number? Just sit here doing... Did you, doing did you lie to me, day? Evil Runes? Did you just lie? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll be politically correct. Did you joke? It's not saying... <laughs> your runes are stubborn. You're do you so have anything funny. positive in your runes? Runes, do you have anything positive to say? Yes. <laughs> Is our popcorn going to run up before we make it out of here? Are we going to make it out alive? With popcorn? Really? Yes. Good, yay, runes, yay. Stop now, stop. It was pretty scary. Um, and eventually we got out, and then we proceeded to sing Disney songs around the fire and go to Scott's house and watch Hercules. So, it was a pretty good Friday. Um, Saturday, I went to see the Mikado which was at the Long Center, which is like a downtown, like, big play place. And it was this Japanese, like, musical comedy. And it was really funny. It was really good. I went with, like, Kia and Jesse and all of them. We had fun because we were comparing all of the characters to Suju slash DBSK members. Which definitely makes time fly by, I have to say. And, yeah. And then, like, we... It was really awkward because one of my ex-boyfriends was there. 
but he like graduated high school he's like in his senior year of college so I was like what and then he was like he's like currently with like my ex best friend and she like completely lives in a different state now and I was like why are you both here like I thought you were both like out of my life now it was really awkward I was like whoa I really didn't know what to do like, again I put me in a bad mood um and then like my mom was like gonna pick me up because I didn't know how to drive there so I didn't drive myself and my mom was like, oh, I'll pick you up on the corner. So I'm just, like, standing on this corner downtown by myself. And then they said I was a prostitute, and it was very sad. I scared this guy, too. I was, like, standing by this light pole. And apparently I was standing, like, completely behind it. And then I, like, leaned over to see. Like, because I heard someone walking up behind me. And I, like, leaned over to see who it was. And the guy, like, jumps. And he's like, oh, my God, you scared the shit out of me. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, I didn't know you were behind the pole. And I'm like, oh, sorry. It was really awkward. It was really funny, though. And yeah. And then I came home and Yushi called me. And we talked for a while about a lot of things. Like you know being a genie. Funniest thing in the world. And we talked about just random fail. And then Junsu freaking dyed his hair red. What is up with that? Seriously? I don't know. I think it's hot though, so I can't complain. I like it. And then the fan cam that Sherry posted of the Hey... Uh, the Was it at the Asian Song Festival? It doesn't even matter. It was ridiculously amazing and then okay so I was talking on the phone earlier with my Chunia who is Sarah who is a nuke in Paris or however you say that if you guys haven't figured that out by yet figured that out by now huh and um we were talking on the phone and like we talked about how like Junsu and Changmin are the two like extremes of dancing like Junsu puts so much like ridiculous effort into his dancing and like his hips and stuff and just like being sexy and then Changmin doesn't move his hips like at all it's like, it's like a conscious effort not to move his hips or be sexy. Have you guys ever noticed that? It's really funny. So we talked about that, and then we talked about how you know's a retard. I don't know. I love our phone conversations. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, I did that. I'm gonna talk to my dad for a while. Now I'm just kinda here. Junsu. Um, yeah. So, that was my interesting slash fail weekend. I don't know, I feel really sick now, so I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to migrate back over to my computer and talk to some people. And continue to listen to the Mirotic album on, like, repeat times 50, which is what I've been doing with my life. I love it so much. And this one right here, You're My Melody, does the chorus remind anybody else of, like, some old, like, American song? Like, I don't know what, but, like, something. You know? It's really weird. But if anyone can, like agree with me on that or point me towards what you think it might be that I'm thinking of, that would be great. And if anybody actually watches this, you should comment. So I know that you do. Because lately they get no comments and then I just feel kind of awkward. But oh well. And Saz, if you're alive, please talk to me. Seriously, I'm getting worried about you. So talk to me because I really miss you. And um, that's about all. So I'm going to go for now. And... Thanks for watching. Bye.